I'm Stephen Miller, and I'm a poet in the Garfield. And my event is called The Club Flow, which is the poet that goes forward to the job room. So I'm Rachel Miller, I'm Stephen's wife, uh, long suffering. Don't put that in here. Put that in the edit. I think the most inspiring thing about Stephen is just the fact that he's been going for so long. So a career spanning, what is it now, 22 years? It's just unheard of, really, and he just, there's no sign of that dip. He's had some pretty horrific injuries along the way, but nothing's ever stopped him. He just picks himself up and keeps going. That's pretty inspirational. I've lived in Crown and all my life, so I felt uh, pretty well in there. Um, everybody knows who I am. It's a, kind of like a, a local celebrity in comedy. Everybody's really proud of what I've achieved in sport. And it's just nice to have that, to, to know that what I do can make it that people feel happy and feel proud about where they come from. Well, I've always wanted him straight away and made a huge difference. You can be the best you can be without any distractions. I mean, that's a lot of it. I do so much for so many different people, so many different organizations. It was really great to, to go to the two charities and no butterflies. And um, it was great to see the work they do. Like, to know that there's a charity like that in my hometown, uh, helping people to come in and create things and yeah, uh, learn new skills and be artistic. I seem to do how much it means to the people who go there and how much enjoyment they get from going and doing that. And be Texas is a charity that I'm supporting now for a couple of years. And just, yeah, to get on the beach in a wheelchair. I had never been on a beach before where I could actually decide where I want to go and not, not be pushed. You know, it makes you feel so much freedom and so much independence. Do I'm probably a very stubborn man. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've been dad. Once I get something in my head, I don't let it go. Not many people get to do what they really enjoy, what they really love to do. As long as I'm still competitive, as long as I still enjoy the training, I'm going to keep doing it. It's that simple.